Who wants to live a long, happy and healthy life? Say I. 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 Good, good. I'm in the right place. Now, what I want to do in six minutes, and this is going to be really challenging, is to convince you why more physical activity can make a huge difference to work, both for you and for your children and even your grandchildren. Now, this is a great opportunity. It's an opportunity because it can make you feel better about life and about yourself. It can make your business do better. And it can make our city, London, as it goes forward in an increasingly competitive world, as a place that will attract more high-value global business. So that's the opportunity. But there are also some threats. But let me start first with a little bit more about me, my story. I came down to London 15 years ago. I used to live in North Wales. I didn't work. I climbed, I ran, I cycled, life was good, I'd finished university, but I had to get a job. And I remember my first day coming from London, um, North London on the Northern Line to Whitehall and going into this big ministry, the Department of Environment, Housing and Local Government, as it then was, and going to the 14th floor and seeing my new boss and feeling really bad about life and bureaucracy. And the first thing my boss said, she said, you're not going to like this job. <laughs> and in the lunch break, because I was an active person, all I could do is I said, I've got to find the shower in this place. I've got to find the shower. And I went all around to the 14th floor along these long corridors, and I found this tiny little shower. And the next day, I picked up the A to Z, and I looked, and I thought, London has more parks than any other city in the world. Let me join them together and I can run to work. When I got in, everyone said, you're nuts, you're a fitness fanatic. But I thought, no. The way we've set up our system is nuts. You see, the way I see it, we've created what I call an obesogenic environment all around us. It's basically set up for us to be lazy and inert, and not physically active, and to overeat. And there's lots of big business also with an interest in keeping it this way. You can see Jamie Oliver on one of the great TED Talks talking about food. But the other part of the equation is physical activity. So what can we do about this? I mean, in the old days, the guys who went for runs around the fire in Neolithic time got eaten by the saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> yeah? And the people who didn't eat enough didn't get through the winter. So we're also kind of hardwired to be inactive. So to reverse this trend is going to be tough. And it's going to require stuff on the individual level, on the group, family, and friends level, and on the collective level. We're going to have to do this cross-sector. We're not going to do it on our own. People can say, be more active, but it ain't going to work like that. I'm now going to give you some facts. And by the way, there are more people obese in the world than malnourished. So when you hear about food um, shortage, that isn't the problem. So this trend, and by the way, nowhere in the world has managed to increase physical activity, is going down. In America, it's gone down almost 50% since the early 60s. That's when people started owning cars, mass car ownership. In Britain, we follow closely behind America, as always. It's gone down by a third. It's going to go down to by about 40% by 2030, over, over the next generation. What about in the emerging economies? Look at China and Brazil, industrialized since the early 90s, car ownership now taking off. And what happens to physical inactivity? And this is a really bad thing. It's a really bad thing for all our well-being. And so what I'm saying today is whatever we do in work, it's got to support improving well-being. And here's a really sad fact, I think. I call it the compression of morbidity. Uh, this is a graph of life expectancy, and it's going up. You might think life expectancy going up, that's a good thing. 
But is it? If illness at the end of life is also increasing, uh, sorry, is increasing more slowly, so that the amount of time we're unhealthy at the end of life is increasing, is it worth living longer? Physical activity can have a massive impact on compressing this period of ill health at the end of life. So it matters to hugely to an, a society like ours where there's a massive increase in an ageing population. And that's going to increase for our children and our children's children. And we want to avoid this. Minimising the time in morbidity corner. And this has a big impact not just on the people, the old people, but on all of us our families, as we have to spend time and resources caring for them. When we think about... I'm going to miss that slide. The next generation. Children. This is an average girl from America. A little bit heavier than you were. Putting on, overeating a few more calories than she consumes cumulatively over her life. Typically, she'll be, by the time she's in her late 20s, overweight. In her 40s, obese. This is the future. This is a global trend. We owe it to our children and our children's children to do what we can now to reverse it. So where do we go? Where do we go from here? I, I want to um, just say a little bit about some of the benefits from being physically more active to business. According to the Cabinet Office, it costs £7.5 billion pounds a year in time lost due to physical inactivity through absenteeism. The average British person takes seven days off a year through sickness, or that Monday morning feeling, I don't really want, I'll, I'll do a sickie. Two of those days, two of those days are due to common colds physically active people get less common colds. So there's a huge financial saving. If you have a business with 20 people, you're typically losing between five and 10,000 pounds a year through physical inactivity. How much would it cost you to encourage, to enable them to be more active? We need to rewire London. We need to make it support physical activity. And we need to think big to live longer and healthier lives. Thank you.